In this recording, I'll try to explain how to fix properties that aren't mapping correctly. When you're in the list view, you can change to the map view. And if you notice some properties are mapping in the wrong place or it's taking a long time to map your properties, you can easily fix that. First, go back to the list view. Make sure edit on is turned on so you can edit right in the columns. And we're going to add two more fields to our list. Click the Columns button, Edit, and under Address I'm going to add Latitude and Longitude. When a property is mapped by the CRM, it uses whatever values are in Latitude and Longitude to map the property. If these values are wrong, your property will map in a spot that might look unusual, like the wrong city or the wrong state or the wrong country it's easy to fix it. If you have the latitude and longitude for your property you can just type it into these fields but there's an even simpler way to do it. I have the address already. I'm going to click in the field where I can edit it. I'm just going to remove the D which then looks up the property in Google. I click on the property and notice the latitude and longitude will automatically fill in for me. That came directly from Google Maps. So I can update my properties really quickly just by deleting the last letter and picking the same property I already had in there off of the Google list. And you might ask, how did that happen? Well, when you enter a property into the CRM, we automatically geocode it. But if you imported the properties from an outside source and you didn't have the latitude and longitude when you did the import, those fields will be blank. If it's a piece of land and there is no address, then you need to go to Google to get the get the correct latitude and longitude. So let's let's do that. Maps.google.com. Type in the address. It'll pull it up. If you don't have an address, type in the zip code and it'll pull up as the area. You're going to have to go find the piece of land because there's if there's no address, Google can't find it for you. So you move around the map. When you find the piece of land, you just click there and then right click on the little circle it puts in. And when you right click on it, it'll either give you a menu. If it gives you a menu, there's an option that says what's here. When you click what's here down at the bottom, you'll get the latitude and the longitude. In this case, it came up immediately when I clicked. Either way, I just need the latitude and longitude. Write it down, or you can highlight it and click and uh, copy and paste it. <clears throat> but you need to put that into the CRM. So in the CRM, I'm going to put in the latitude. In this case, I'm going to paste and just get rid of the longitude. And then I'm going to put the longitude in over here. But I just copy and paste it. And it's as simple as that. Here I have one that's missing the latitude, but it has the longitude. So that can't be right. Well, I don't have to delete it. Just looking up the address will automatically correct this information. So I'm going to go here and get rid of the D and pick it off the list. And you notice it updated both latitude and longitude automatically for me. Once you've done that, when you go to map your properties, they'll map much quicker because mapping from latitude and longitude is immediate. If you don't have latitude and longitude on a property, we have to look it up every time, and that takes a lot longer. So you should go through your properties, especially the ones that you map all the time, and fix the latitude and longitude, and that'll make your mapping more consistent, and it will make it much faster.